Stefano Tsitsipas versus Andre Rublev is the final of the Monte Carlo Masters for 2021. And both guys have had different roads to make it to the final. Andre Rublev entered the tournament as the sixth seed, getting a bye in the first round. His second round match will be against qualifier Caruso, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. His third round against ninth seed Batista Agu, and he had to fight his way to get through that third round, eventually prevailing in three, 7-6, 5-7, 6-3. His quarterfinal matchup was against number three seed and the god of clay, Rafa Nadal. And although Rafa had been very impressive leading into the quarterfinals, he was not himself, making a lot of errors, and Rublev capitalized, getting the job done in three sets, 6-2, 4-6, 6-2. In the semifinals, Rublev took on fellow clay quarter Kasper Rudd. And although Rudd had had an impressive week so far, Rublev was too good, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 7-5. Stefano Tsitsipas, the number four seed, got a bye in the first round. In his second round, he was taking on fellow Australian Open semifinalist Aslan Karatsev, getting through in straight sets, 6-3. 3-6-4. His third round, he would take on the number 16 seed and clay quarter Christian Garin. And again, City Pass very impressive, winning in straight sets 6-3-6-4. His quarterfinal matchup was against unseeded Banyard Vakina. And after a very tight first set, Vakina eventually retired due to a leg injury, giving Steph the win 7-5 retirement. In the semifinals, City Pass would take on giant killer Dan Evans, who was coming off a big week, including beating the world number one Djokovic. But City Pass was way too good, winning in straight sets 6-2 6-1. These two have played six times or four in their young careers with it split down the middle, three wins apiece. And on clay courts, it's one win apiece, both of those happening in 2020. With Rublev winning in Hamburg and then a couple of weeks later, Tsitsipas winning at the French Open. If Rublev's going to win this match, he needs to be aggressive from the start. He's going to have to put Steph off by pushing him back behind the baseline. And he's going to have to take his chances like he did against Rudd and also keep his head. If Tsitsipas is going to win, he needs to keep the variety going like he did against Evans. Come to the net, do a lot of slice backhands and just defend the way he has been all week. This is a tough final for me to pick because both players have never won a big title like this. So the nerves are going to be there because it's a great opportunity and someone's going to lift the first Masters 1000 trophy. And I think it's going to be Stefano Pass. I reckon he wins it in three sets. Very, very close match though, but I'm going to go with Steph to win this one. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you have in winning Monte Carlo?